friends and welcome to my channel. I've been making a lot of historical costumes lately and for that my regular wardrobe has been suffering a lot. So I wanted to start uh, remedying that and I decided to start from the basics and that is underwear for me. So I decided to take a week and I make as many bras and panties as I can with these materials and then I can always order more. So. Let's start. I have um, several patterns that I've used. I've used this, uh, this is a really dirty pin up girls Amanda Alessa. This is my favorite pattern. I have Mega Nielsen Acacia underwear that is, I use for my panties, and I think I'm going to use this for my panties. And then I have Make Bra DL04, and this is something I could also use so I can sort of combine these patterns with each other. Let's figure out the color seam. So what would be the first bra to make? I could, of course I could finish this. I think I stopped this because I had trouble fitting this fabric here but then I started thinking of what if I just take my lace and sew it here. So that would be one bra. It will use this lace and I could make panties out of the same fabric. And here I have uh, blue elastics and everything for it. So that would be the first one. This says 34. I hope this is the right size for me. Yes, it is. 34 is the right size. So I could make another one of these t-shirt bras and for that, hmm, let's see. These are a bit too bright for me. So I might make a t-shirt bra out of this if this is stretchy enough. I wonder, could I just make it fit? I could and that would look really luxurious. So I think I'll make one bra from this. So then I need a little of this, but it whatever. This might, it might work. Underwires, golden ones for this. Might work. Oh, look what I found. I didn't know that I had this. So now I have everything I need for that bra. So I have this. And I have uh, elastics. What is this? I have like champagne colored. Yes. This is a bit brown one. I think it'll work. Okay, I can now make bras and panties. Yes, I will, I will do this. Uh, do I have hooks and eyes for this? Yes. I have. So this is all I need. Okay, I'll take those two because you never know what you need. So this is like a one project, that's another project. But I want to make something out of this really pretty pink one. And then I need this. What about this? Oh. Look at that. This would be so pretty. Like elastics for the panties, hooks and eyes, shoulder straps, more stuff for panties. This might work. So much of this. So let's just take it all and see what fits. So this would be the third project. Finally, I saw this fabric at Numpu Print Company site and bought it to make a fourth underwear set. This is soft sports lycra, so it works fine for underwear as well. I've been making my bras for five years now and I'm never going back to shop bought bras if I can avoid it. I started making my bras after getting so frustrated for my bras not fitting well. I was continuously tucking some of the fabric from my t-shirt under the middle of the bra where the underwear dug into my skin. 
The only bra I had that didn't hurt me cost over 100 euros. With that much money, I could as well make some mock-ups and learn to make my own bras. Finally, I found out that sewing bras was surprisingly easy and fun. This video will not be a tutorial. I just want to show you how I make my bras and how I combine different sewing techniques which I have learned over the years. This first bra is going to be based on Make Bra DL04 pattern. The cup is constructed of cut and sew foam and then covered with fabric. I love adding some pretty lace details. You could zigzag the lace on, but I rather sew it on by hand. I've got used to hand sewing with historical garments, and compared to sewing whole garments by hand, sewing short seams like this is a small thing. I'm making the band of the bra out of the same fabric. As the fabric is stretchy, I need to underline the middle part of the band with stabilizer fabric to keep my cups in place. Before attaching the cups, I need to add the elastics. There are so many different ways one can finish the edges of the cups. Here I'm using foldover elastic to finish the side edges of the cups. However, the foldover elastic is not really suited to the style I'm after, so I decided to cover the elastic with a strip of lace. Now I can add the cups to the band. Then I'm adding the underwire channeling. The underwire channeling is stitched to the band from the outside. Here I'm sewing blindly, as I can't really see where the edge of the channeling is. I just have to trust that the width of my presser foot will guide me. I finished the upper edge of the cups with the fold over elastic as well. This isn't one of my favorite methods as I usually end up with wrinkles or uneven stitches. Here I already have plans to cover this edge with lace so the imperfections get hidden. Let's now add the underwires. Most of my underwires have been taken from my old bras. When I get rid of a bra, I used to salvage all the useful parts like underwires, rings and sliders and sometimes even hooks and eyes. I close the underwire channels with some heavy stitching. And here comes the lace I mentioned earlier. This time I zigzag it on from the edge, but I went in and tacked the scalloped edge on by hand. I had a limited amount of pink bra strap elastic, so I decided to make the front straps from the same pink fabric. Now I'm adding the rings and sliders to the back straps.
The bra straps also finish the curved edge of the bra band at the back. I'm almost done. Let's add the hooks and eyes. And finish the straps. A small bow will be the cherry on top. I like to make matching sets, so I use the remaining fabric to make panties. This might surprise you, but for me, making panties is the hard part. Bras are easy compared to them. I always end up struggling with panty elastics, as you need to stretch them while you sew them on. Now let's move to the blue bra that I once started and left unfinished. I made a dart to get rid of the excess cup fabric and then covered the seam with lace. Here I'm using Pinup Girls Amanda et Alusa pattern that has seams at the band. I could remove the seam if I used the same stabilizer method I did with the previous bra, but this time I used the seam to add a bit lace to the back of the bra. Hard charm to decorate the bridge of the bra under the bow.
With this pattern fabric, I could choose to make very different bras depending on where I cut the fabric. I try to smooth the fabric onto the cup so that the upper edge follows the cup edge nicely. Then I trim away the fabric at the upper edge, leaving seam allowance. Now I'm sewing the fabric on the wrong side of the cup with a tiny 2mm seam allowance. And now I flip the fabric over. With stretchier fabric I could make a totally seamless cup, but here I need to make a dart. The last bra is this champagne colored one. Once again I start from the cups. I've already attached the stretch setting on the foam cup. Now I'm adding some lace. Here is something new. This time I decided to finish the other edge of the cup by hand. This way the whole edge of the cup looks seamless from the outside.
I'll do a fitting for each bra before adding the hooks and eyes, as each fabric has a unique stretch to it. This bra band was a little bit too long, so I removed a bit. Okay, now if you want to make a bra yourself and want to know how to get started, I'll leave some good links where to find patterns, info and materials. Thank you so much for watching and please click subscribe to follow my channel. I know that this video was a bit different from my usual videos. Did you like to see something more modern on my channel or should I stick to my usual historical costuming stuff? Comment down below. See you soon. Bye!